What's going on, YouTube? This is Box of Wave. It's really, really late. It's about 2 30 in the morning. It's Christmas Day. Merry Christmas, everyone. Happy holidays, everyone. You know, whatever it is you celebrate. Um, I figure I knocked this video out because uh, I know I'm not going to be able to do any content for the rest of the day. Uh, let's talk Anthony Joshua and his win against Otto Wallin. All right. Very good win. Uh, I think he stopped him in the fifth round. I think uh, Wallin didn't come out in his fifth round after the fifth round. All right. Dominating performance. You know, AJ came out straight out the gate with that powerful right hand to the body. You know, that was the first punch that I noticed, you know, that you can tell from the, the reaction of Waleen that he was in trouble. <laughs> you know, he didn't like how that felt, you know, and, and, and it's pretty much what we saw for the rest of the fight. The straight right hands to the body, the straight right hand up top. It was just the timing was on point. Um, you know, I said before the fight, and I, I know this was one of the upsets that people were predicting. You know, I know we got a lot. Arson Beck uh, got got exposed. Wilder got exposed. Gerald Miller got exposed. Um, these guys didn't just lose. You know, I mean, all of the antics, all of the talking and all of that before the fight, just to lose. They got exposed. Okay. Um, but Anthony Joshua was one of the fights that a lot of people thought he, you know, they thought he was going to take the L against, um, Waleen. And I, I was kind of shocked by that, but, you know, when I'm thinking about it, when I look at it, you know, I, I'm trying to put it all together, I guess why people thought that Joshua was going to lose this one. I, I'm assuming it's because... He was a southpaw, you know. I, I I was hearing from some of the commentators, some of the analysts that we see on TV. A lot of them were saying Joshua has issues with southpaws, and and I'm thinking to myself, okay, I know there's Charles Moore and there's Usyk. You got Usyk, who's pound for pound one of the top three fighters in the world, and then you got Charles Martin, who is a step below Waleen in my opinion maybe you know I think I have I think skill wise I think Waleen is a little better than Charles Martin but he's a couple of levels below Usyk and I don't know what people saw I don't think I don't know what fight that uh Waleen had that mimic Usyk in any way I know he's a southpaw but Waleen cannot do what Usyk can do. You know, Usyk is a problem for everybody. You know, and even if you're beating him, he's going to outwork you in the second half. So I didn't see what everybody else saw. Waleen just doesn't have the move movement. He 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 doesn't have the speed. He doesn't have the athleticism or overall. He doesn't have the IQ. He doesn't have that. He is a good fighter. I know he beat Dominic Brazil. I know he, you know, I know Dillian White kind of avoided him. Um, I know he gave Tyson Fury hell. But it was a different Tyson Fury and it was a different fighter overall. Fury was on his back foot, toying around, not being aggressive. This is not the 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 fury that beat Wilder in those rem the rematch in the trilogy. It wasn't the white that beat Dillian White. This was a fury. This was a, this was a Tyson Fury that was being very ev uh, evasive, using a lot of lateral movement, lighter, um, not putting the power down. Waleen had a good showing. He did. But I think people overrated that performance. He still lost. He still lost. And he's, no, he is not Alexander Usyk. And the preparation that Joshua had for those two fights against Usyk, even though he lost both fights, you're basically fighting a Usyk that's in slow motion. Okay. He's doing a lot less to throw off Joshua's timing. And the only difference between this and the Charles Martin fight is that 
while Lean was just a little bit more durable. So he went further in the fight, but he took more damage. Charles Martin got knocked down on his ass twice in the second round and didn't get back up. You know, try to fake it up like as if he tried to beat the count. He did one of those moves. He didn't want he didn't want any more problems with Anthony Joshua. Let's just call it what it is. You know, Waleen showed a lot more heart. You know, he stayed in the fight. His face was getting busted up every round. And that was it. You know, I know Joshua didn't look great against uh, Robert Hellenius. You know, I mean, he, he got the stoppage. I mean, we found out the guy was juicing the whole time. You know, uh, I know Jermaine, uh, Jermaine Franklin went the distance. I think most people wasn't expecting that. I know I wasn't. But, you know, losing to Usyk, losing, you know, going in distance to Jermaine Franklin doesn't automatically mean Waleen beats him. Waleen lost to Fury. He beat Brazil, but he faded late. And that was another thing. I, I expected Joshua to get the stoppage, but I predicted knife round stoppage. There was just nothing there. I don't think Waleen had the better IQ, the better anything. He was outmatched. And it was a good opponent. You know, I'm not trying to take anything away from him. I'm not trying to take anything away from Anthony Joshua. But Joshua, like I said already, has about six or seven fighters on his resume that are at least a level of Waleen, if not better. About six or seven guys. I mean, I went down a resume. There's about good six or seven wins that are better wins than this win. So, I don't know why everyone is so surprised. I think Joshua did good. Um, I think, you know, I was making a point in a Wilder video that I did earlier today that styles make fights. And even though Joshua looked good, uh, he fought a guy that was a good matchup for him. You know, I think some of the other fights that were tougher fights for him is because of who he was facing and the styles. I think Jermaine Franklin was a little difficult for him, you know, um, Maybe strategy and and Mintu and all of that might have something to do with it too. Coaching, you know. Um, But I think Waleen was such a downgrade for Usyk that it was like an easier match. He prepared two times for that same fighter. He's pretty good at fighting Southpaws. I don't know why people think the Usyk loss makes him not good at fighting Southpaws. You know, and I was just making a point in the, in the uh, in new way breakdown that as good as he is, I think he's even better at fighting Southpaws because the straight right hand is one of his best punches. The hook is too, but the straight right is one of his best punches. And Anthony jo- Joshua, that's always been one of his best punches. You know, that he wants to line you up for that straight right and he was able to do it with foot positioning and 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 just timing the counters was on point everything was good with aj aj looked good he looked sharp and you know maybe because the fact that he was quiet in the pressers and not really going back and forth maybe that has something to do with his mental state going into this fight he wanted to focus on Otto Wallin, not uh not deontay wilder not gerald miller now all these other guys, he wanted to focus on this guy and he was focused, you know, I'm, I don't know if Ben Davison had anything to do with that. But from what I'm seeing, Joshua was capable of doing what he did. He was already capable of that. We've seen it before. He didn't do anything new tonight. All he did was stay focused, you know, and he executed the plan great so moving forward again 
Now all of these fights are going to be easy. Zhang might not be as easy as a southpaw. Um, you know, Hergovic might not be as easy as an opponent. Um, you know what I mean? It just, you got to look at the matchups, man. And you can't just focus on, um, you know, most recent performances. You got to look at the matchup. And I'm always going to say that. We're not, we not going to always get the predictions right. I damn sure didn't get the predictions right for this car. But, you you, you know, at the very least, you got to look at the matchup itself. All right? It was a good win. As far as him moving forward, I don't know if he's going to fight Wilder. I don't know if he has any interest in fighting Wilder anymore. You know, he, said, he did bring Wilder up at, after the fight. He did a bunch of interviews. He said he's still willing. He said it's still a massive fight. I don't think it's going to be as massive, but if they're willing to pay him to fight Wilder, cool. It still would be a legacy fight for him, excuse me, because he has a phenomenal resume. And if he were to fight Wilder, the only other top guy in his generation that would be left for him to fight is Tyson Fury. And I think that fight still will happen at some point, you know. Um, he already fought Usyk. He already fought Andy Ruiz. He's fought Pavekin, Parker. He's fought a lot of people already. He fought Pulev. He fought a lot of guys already. Dillian White, you know. Um, so I can see him fighting Wilder. I've always wanted to see the fight. Uh, I definitely think it's lost some buzz. Not because Wilder lost, but it's the way he looked losing, you know. He didn't get knocked out. He got beat round by round by round. Some people say 12-0. You know, I don't think he lost all 12, but I think he lost at least 10 of those rounds. At least 10. So, it did lose some buzz. I know AJ says he wants to be a three-time champ. He would have to go through... Zhang or um, Hergovic. I personally believe those two need to run it back with each other. Um, I, I mean, that's what I would like for them to. But I'm cool with Joshua fighting one of those two as well. You know, I'm cool with that. Um, the winner of Fury, I, I don't think, you know, I don't know when Fury and Usyk are going to actually fight. The last time I heard was in February. I mean, you know, it is are they gonna have a rematch? Is there some sort of rematch clause? Are they gonna have two fights? I'm expecting them to. So if they're gonna be tied up for the rest of the year, those belts, I don't know if both will, but one of those, at least one, I know definitely the IBF will become vacant. And Joshua is right there in the rankings for the IBF. And I believe he is for the WBO as well. Um, I pulled it up earlier and then and now I forgot. For the WBO, he is he's right there underneath Zhang. So he could fight for either title. I don't know what's going on with the WBA. They're, with their normal shenanigans, Mamu Char is been like the number one guy for the WBA forever. I don't know. He's just sitting right there. I don't know what's going on with that guy, but I, I would not like to see him in the ring with any of these guys. You know, I mean, what is he doing? Um, But besides that, I'm cool with AJ fighting one of the two or if not both this year, you know, yo, if he could fight one and then fight the other right after another, then that's cool. Uh, he still has options. And I think for him to get another title, uh, those are his options. Because Fury and Usyk might be tied up for a little while. All right. Um, I'm trying to think of any other options. I can't really think of anything else. You know, I mean, th that's the way to go at this point. Go straight for a vacant title fight. If not Deontay Wilder. You know, he's not going to fight Gerald Miller. I don't think he would fight Triple D uh, or any of the other. You know, I, I, I even heard him say Ajit Kabayel, bring him up. He brought him up. 
But I think the way to go is to either go with Hergovic or to go with Zhang. And I personally believe that both of those two fights are more difficult than the Otto Walling fight. And I'm not saying that because Walling lost. I know Walling has some good fights, got some good wins. But I think stylistically, those fights might be a little bit more difficult for AJ. I would pick AJ to beat both. But those fights, for me, as far as deciding, it would be a little bit more difficult than the one he just had. But great win. I like the energy. Um, he definitely seems relieved. Um, he is coming off of two wins. But his attitude was not like that after those two wins. You know, you can tell... He seems to be much more happier with himself. You know, him coming in an oppressor with the dark shades. He looks like he's he's at a better space, which is good. So good for him. Great win. I'm happy for him. I'm a, I'm a big AJ fan. You know, that's been my favorite heavyweight for this past decade, you know. So personal favorite, but I always give you guys a fair assessment and I always, you know, criticize them when it's when it's necessary but um it doesn't get easy for any of these guys from here um but me personally uh i'm cool with whatever he decides you know i want to see the wilder fight still but i respect him trying to be a third a third three-time champion i'm sorry all right so anyway that's my thoughts on aj subscribe to the channel i'm getting kind of tired Smash the like button. I'm stumbling over my words because it's 2.30 in the morning right now and I'm doing videos. I am tired, but um, smash the like button. Hit the comments. Enjoy your holiday today and for the rest of the week. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.